Uh, yeah, I mean, we've uh, we've preached a lot. Um, Coach Bab has really, you know, talked a lot to us about ball security and third down efficiency, um, you know, and how to become, you know, a really good offense. So uh, that's definitely something that we, uh, you know, week in and week out take a, you know, high amount of, uh, you know, discipline to. Checks. How does Will communicate to you when it's, that play gets changed uh, as he's going to the line? Just what sort of language do you guys have with each other? Uh, well, I mean, most of his hand signals. Um, you know, he tries to be discreet as possible because uh, you know different uh, teams will call it out uh, if he does make a check that they can see. Um, so he tries to make it discreet as possible, but mostly hand signals. If you like, what percentage of plays would you estimate? Yeah, especially in the last game that got changed. Um, I don't, I don't know. It'd be tough to put a percentage on it, um, you know. But if uh, you know, he he has full freedom of the offense. So if, if there's a look that he doesn't like, um, you know, he has the full capability to change to whatever play he wants, and you know, he does it quite often. David, what kind of uh, challenges does uh, Texas Tech present you guys defensively? Uh, yeah, I mean they're uh, they're they're very experienced. Um, you know, a lot of the guys we're playing against, at least on the back end, were were there last year. Um, you know, we played against them last year, uh, so they're they're definitely experienced. They fly around. Um, you know, they, they they give really good effort on defense. Um, you know, so that's something that we're gonna have to be uh, make sure we're on point with uh, all of our techniques and stuff like that, and just catch the ball when it when it comes our way. This week, Ken was telling us how big a role you played in sort of convincing him to, to come here. Just how how deep does that relationship go between you guys? Yeah, I mean, we we uh, I've known Kenny since uh, seventh grade. Um, you know, we played high school ball together. Uh, so he, you know, he went to USC out of high school. Um, you know, and then had to obviously had the knee injuries and stuff. Uh, so got his six year granted and. Um, you know, I brought uh, brought his name up to uh, you know the coaches here, and um, you know eventually ended up getting getting him here. So he's he's been great since he got here. Um, you know, he's been um, you know working his tail off. Um, you know, ever since he got here in May. Um, you know, so we're excited that he's here. Um, I'm definitely very excited. We have a you know really great relationship. Um, you know, so that's that's always uh, cool to have. How much did you have to sell him? Because you know you mentioned it first. He's like West Virginia. What do you like? You know. And uh, just, you know, how were you able to convince him? Because once he got here, he said he was pretty slow. Yeah, I mean, I I think getting him up here on a visit. Um, you know, after that, um, you know, I obviously was his host for the visit. Um, you know, and, and after uh, you know he he came up here, um, you know, he he I think he really understood that it was an opportunity for him. Um, you know, and it, it was something that he could come in and and uh, push for a chance to you know be the starter. Um, you know, and, and he was on board with it, uh, you know, as soon as he came here. Uh, what, what, was, what was he playing in seventh grade when you guys first? Uh, he was, I was still on the middle school team, but he was, uh, he was on the varsity team. He was the defensive end.